My name is Neil Malik. I'm lead instructor at NAC Training, and this is Everyday Office. Today's video is about how to use sections in PowerPoint presentations. Now, sections are basically intended to help you to organize yourself. It allows you to collapse different parts of your presentation so you can see the big picture a little bit more easily. But in this new version of PowerPoint, we actually have a very cool feature that plays along with it called Zoom. So let's take a look at inserting sections into our presentation. Normally, when we look at the navigation segment on the left-hand side of the screen, we just see slide, 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 slide. But as you can see, I have made uh, slide number four a section header. I've made slide number eight a section header, and I've made slide number 11 a section header. And you can clearly see that these are different segments of my presentation. Now imagine that this presentation is 60 or 90 or 150 slides rather than 13, and you can see where being able to see these sections a little bit more clearly and perhaps collapse them down might be helpful. So if I go to slide number one, I might treat slides one through three as my first section. I simply go to the home tab at the top of the screen, click the little section drop down menu and tell it to add a section. Now to me, untitled section is not really helpful, so I'm going to right click on that and rename it as intro. Then I'll go to slide number four, click on the section drop down menu, add a section. Again, right click that section, rename it as message structure. Slide number eight, click on the slide, click on section, add a section, right click on the section and rename it. This is great visuals. And finally, slide number 11, click the section drop down menu, add section, right click on untitled section here and call this one visual consistency. So the first thing that you get is in this view, you can click the little arrows next to visual consistency, next to great visuals, next to message structure, and next to intro, and you can collapse each of those down so that you're just looking at the big picture. You can also get that same basic effect when I go down to the bottom of the screen to my slide sorter view. Click on slide sorter, and again, you can expand the intro section or expand the message structure section or collapse those. And so from a visual perspective, from an organization perspective, it, it just sort of makes sense to have these segments very clearly laid out. And it took almost no time at all to put those little sections in there. Now, here's the cool part. In PowerPoint 2016, they've now got this new Zoom feature, and you can see it when you go to the Insert tab at the top of the screen. You'll see Zoom is about halfway across my screen, and one of the things that I can do is I can insert a Summary Zoom. By clicking on Summary Zoom, it basically says, hey, I see that you have these section labels here, 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 and here. Are these the beginnings of sections? Are these the things that'll help people understand what these sections are about? Would you like to go ahead and allow yourself to zoom out and see the big picture at any given time? So when I click insert, it inserts a new summary slide right at the very beginning. And I can go ahead and hit F5 to start my presentation. And you see this, this is the first slide of each of the sections that I have, the intro, the message structure, the great visuals, and the visual consistency. And the nice thing is here, it shows me the big picture. I can click on something like great visuals, for example, be taken directly to that slide. Those of you who've used Prezi before, that looks an awful lot like Prezi, right? And then I click through my segment about great visuals, right? And then when I get to the end of the section, it zooms me back out and I can see all my sections again. 
So creating multiple sections in your PowerPoint presentation makes it very easy to keep yourself visually organized, and it also plays together with this cool zoom feature that I'll talk more about in future videos.